What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, check out this absolute banger of a team that we have in front of ourselves today. Today, we're going to be rocking out with a triple starter team that actually got ranked number one on the ranked double ladder in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. But this team right here was actually made by Neil VGC. If you guys do not know who that is, link to his channel will be down in the description below. Definitely give him a follow. Go check out his content. He makes amazing Pokemon content, and he is a very good VGC player. But you guys might have actually seen this team going around YouTube. A lot of people have been playing it, and I hopped on that train. I was like, yo, let me showcase it for my viewers and see if we can grab some wins with this amazing-looking team. But getting started in that top left corner, we have the one and only Charizard. This Pokemon is an absolute monster in the Dynamax format. We got Solar Power and Safety Goggles as its item, and then we got Protect, Ancient Power, Heat Wave, and Air Slash. I should kind of say all three stars are G Max, so it's going to be a lot of fun to use any of them when Dynamax. Right next to him is going to be Blastoise, the second starter of the two, with Rain Dish and Leftovers as its item. So, in the rain, if we can set it up somehow, actually, can we not set up rain with this guy? I don't think we can. I mean, he will work good in rain teams. He will work good against rain teams. We have no way of setting up rain, but in the rain, he recovers HP basically like leftovers. So with that and leftovers, we're getting a huge chunk of HP at the end of every single turn. But this thing can yawn. It also has iron defense to boost its defense stats, and it has body press and protect. Middle left is going to be Venusaur, and Venusaur is just phenomenal in the series, just as well as Charizard. It also has Chlorophyll as its ability, so it doubles its speed in the Trout. And we got Life Orb as its item, so it hits even harder. We got Sleep Powder, Weather Ball, Earth Power, and Leaf Storm for this thing's move set. Middle right is going to be Porygon 2, and this thing is just great support mon all around. We have Trick Room on this Pokemon, alongside with two attacking moves with Ice Beam and Shadow Ball, then Recover to recover air HP, and then obviously for our item, we're rocking that Evo Light, so this thing is a bit bulkier than normal. Bottom left is our Restricted Mon, and you cannot have a Charizard and Venusaur team without Groudon. Groudon is just the best Restricted Mon paired with both those Pokemon, so we're going to be using him on this team as well. Drought is its ability, so we can set the Sun, Citrus Berry as its item, and then we got Precipice Blades, Rock Slides, Sword Stance, and Protect for this thing's moveset. Final Pokemon on this amazing squad is going to be Thunders, and I really, really like this Thunder set right here. We got Define as its ability, so it's going to work well up against all the Intimidate Pokemon that are just running around in the series. We also have that Assault Vest, so we can actually soak up some special attacking shots. Then we got Crunch, Wild Charge, Brick Break, and Fly. This Pokemon is going to be great, and he can also do work when Dynamax. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder. Look to get some wins with this Rank 1 Triple Starter team. Honestly, I've been seeing this Kyogre team that we're going up against a lot on the Ranked Double Ladder as of recently. This team is absolutely amazing. It features Regilecki, Cinderace, Urshifu, Kyogre, Indeedee, and Wimscott. But hey, we're looking for a win here in battle number one. How should we play this one? How should we go about it? I could actually bring the Blastoise because we do have Rain Dish and he is probably going to set the weather. Or I could also go into a Trick Room here. Mm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? He does have a uh, Speed Control with that... Uh, with that what's it called, which we don't like, with that Regilacki. I might lead the Groudon. Groudon could be a decent lead here. Uh, who else could I go into? Who else could I go into? If I bring Groudon, I gotta go into either Venusaur or Charizard. But he can also swap into the... Uh... I'm gonna actually lead the Porygon too. I think he's gonna do something with speed. I think we just pop a Trick Room and we kind of roll out from there. Uh, next Pokemon I really want to bring is going to be Groudon. Uh, let me see the speeds. I think if we go Trick Room, we would rather have Charizard in the back end here. Right? Charizard, he is fast, but he's, uh, he'll be faster than the Venusaur in the, in the Drought. I mean, do we even bring the drought? I mean, that's more so for weather control. I mean, if he's going to set rain, we're going to bring you. And then final Pokemon, I think we just bring Venusaur here, right? Now, let's bring Charizard. Charizard is just so sick. Let's rock out with Charizard. Lock in our four and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Down for question of the day. That would be, what are your guys' thoughts on all the new Diamond and Pearl remake leaks? The whole game is actually leaked now. I'm not going to spoil anything on the channel. But if you guys want to check it out, just go search it on YouTube. Just search Pokemon Diamond Pearl leaks. It will show you the whole game. Basically, the whole game. Everything that is, like, announcing all the Pokemon, all the gyms everything all about so if you guys want to check them out definitely check them out but if you guys did check them out let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below i would love to know but he actually might taunt me here he has a decent lead with the Wimscott and the regilecki but he cannot hit me with an e-web type ground so i could just rock a blades uh, can he hard swap into anybody that can actually like dodge it let me see his pokemon once again no he cannot so blades is definitely our first turn move here and i think he might do we pop a tricker no we just ice beam i think we just ice beam and blades here I think we just Ice Beam and Blades. I think that's definitely going to be our play. 
He might protect. He might taunt me. I actually want him to taunt me, kind of. But if he does taunt me, we can take out Wimscott pretty easily here, I think. But let's just see this dude's play. Let's see this dude's play. He's going to withdraw the Regilek. He turned one. And he's, is he going to go into a Tailwind? He's going to swap into Kyrie. He is going to change up the weather. And the Kyrie is going to take a nice little shot here from the Blades, which we really, really like. I probably should have popped the uh, Trick Room. I really wonder what he's going to go for. He's just going to go for Tailwind. We should have popped the Trick Room. We should have popped the Trick Room. The Blades is going to fly here. Get some damage off onto that carrier, which is really, really nice for us. Which is just lovely. Look at that. Half damage down. And we might be able to take out Wimscott with this Ice Beam. Hopefully, we're able to. That would be lovely if we can. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Okay, so that Pokemon's gone. I could just protect the Kyogre turn one here. He could be going into an Origin Pulse. I could protect Kyogre and go into uh, a Trick Room. Trick Room could be really, really good. Dude, we definitely should have went into Trick Room last turn. That would have been great for us, but he is probably going to Dynamax the Cinderace. I could definitely see him Dynamax and Cinderace. So, what do I do in this case? So, I, I have to try to pop off a Trick Room here. And then I could swap. I could swap into Blastoise here. Blastoise could be decent. Hmm. Do I just hard swap into Blastoise, or do I protect this turn? I think I just protect the Groudon. I really do think that we just protect the Groudon here. Because if I can get off this Trick Room, that could be a huge turn for us. That could be a huge turn for us. So let's see what he does here. Let's see this dude's play. You know, I could have sworn he was potentially going for a Taunt, but he went into the Tailwind turn one, and it would have worked out if he went into Taunt, because we would have just taken out Wimscott, but we would have been thriving with the speed boom. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing the Cinderace, and Cinderace is an absolute beast. He's an absolute beast when Dynamax. He has his G-Max Fireball, which hits through abilities, I believe. I think that's what it does, right? Hopefully he's coming into the uh, Groudon slot. He's probably going for an Origin Pulse. Maybe he'll miss my Porygon. We'll see. He goes for a Max Knuckle, and that is going to go into Porygon, probably, right? It's going to go into Porygon, right? And I think an Origin Pulse will probably take us out. Max Knuckle flies through, and it's going to go into Porygon, which we eat up. Now, I wonder what Kyogre's going for. Did he read the Protect? I wonder what he's going for. Is he going for an Origin Pulse? I wouldn't like that one bit. Let's see his suits play. I'm going to go for a Scald, and that is into the ground on slot. Everything's working out perfectly for us. That is wonderful. We're going to be able to pop a Trick Room. We have speed all day now. We have speed, ladies and gentlemen. That is just dandy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we know another Blades will take out that Kyogre at more than half. And then we might as well just go after this, uh, this Cinderace here. We're going to go here and then into a Blades. Might as well, right? Might as well. Let's do it. Let's rock out on that Blades. So great call by me in order to protect that Groudon. And now we get rolling here. Ice Beam's going to fly. Give me the Freeze, yo. Give me the Freeze. Freeze does not go through. Cinderace avoids attack. Okay, I'd rather hit the Kyogre than the Cinderace. And Kyogre goes down, yo. We are buzzing right off the bridge. So he's going to take out whatever Pokemon he hits. And now I'm going to bring out my next Pokemon. I mean, unless he hits my Groudon here. Who's he hitting up on? Is that Porygon? Please be Porygon. All right, so Porygon is dead. And now I'm going to bring out whichever Pokemon I want. Whichever Pokemon I want to Dynamax and pretty much solidify this battle. I mean, it would be more beneficial. Actually, no, he boosts his speed. So Charizard's definitely going to come in here. Or no, we could go into Blastoids. I mean, Charizard's our best Dynamax Pokemon. So I think I'd rather go into him. Yeah, let's go into Charizard here. Let's rock out with Charizard. Dynamax into Charizard, even though it is in the rain. We could have went into Blastoids, but Blastoids really there just like broke up. And yo, I really like this. I really like this. Because we're going to set the buffets with this uh, with this Rockfall here. And potentially just take out Cinderace. And then we're just going to drop a Blades, which Blades is going to do big damage onto the Regilecki. Right? That's definitely our play. That is definitely our play. I don't care that it's not hitting the Cinderace. I think that this Rockfall should be able to pick up the KO. But we'll see how this one plays out. Nine and Max and Charizard. We still have a Rain Dish dude in the back, but Rain is going to be gone at that point. Rain is going to be gone at that point. But yeah, we made a great turn one play. He led the Regilecki. I thought he was going to lead the Regilecki. I did think he was going to lead the Regilecki or the Whimsicott. It was, I thought he was going to lead one or the other, but he ended up leading both, which was great for us. So we knew that speed was definitely an option. But I thought he was going to taunt. I thought he was going to taunt and maybe protect the Regilecki. Let's see how this one plays out here. Blade's going to fly here. It does not affect Cinderace. And it is going to end up landing on this Regilecki, which KOs it. No Focus Ash. Wonderful. Awesome. Dope. This battle one is a wrap, yo. This team is fire, man. Get them out of here, yo. Get these fools out of here. This rock, sh this rock fall should KO, but it might not. Let's see. It does not, which is all good. I just want to get some damage off on this Cinderace and not take speed. And not take speed. Just in case we would have missed our blades or anything, Tailwind would have ended it. He would have been able to kind of like get after this. But he still would have had to trick him out. But there goes his final max airstream. 
and I actually want to showcase the team that he's using on my channel. I was going to do that today. I have the rental code for it because it is an awesome team. It is very strong on the ranked up ladder, but I saw this ranked one triple starter team. And I was just like, yo, the jeans fans are going to like this one. So if you guys are enjoying this team and like it all around, make sure you leave a like on today's video. It really does go a long way. But uh, it's pretty much a wrap here. We have Blastoids in the back end. I could bring him out here, but yo, Charizard's just dominating this battle. It's going to be GG's. But actually, Groudon dominate the battle pretty much. And uh, Porygon. Definitely where it's at. You go into a Wildfire, and do I just protect? We are in Trick Room, and I would rather the Wildfire get the last shot. The Wildfire would look a lot cooler here. He just cancels the battle. That's GG's 1-0 and to get this starter team started. Coming off a strong win in battle number one. Absolutely dominated that last battle. I knew this team was going to be strong once I rented it. I was like, yo, this team's looking powerful. With the Charizard, Blastoids, and Venusaur, just three top tier Pokemon for this meta. But we're hopping into second battle here. Going up against a Zacian Drought team over here that features Charizard, Venusaur, Torkoal, uh, Landorus, and the Grimstorm. So I could actually go into Thunderous turn one. What do we think he's going to do here? I think Grimstorm is definitely an option. I might go Thunderous here just in case he wants to leave that Intimidate turn one. And I might go Blastoids here to potentially set up a nice, lovely uh, Iron Defense on all these physical attackers that he has. I think that might be play for us. Definitely want to bring in the Venusaur because if he's bringing Drought, we got we to gotta counteract with that. And then final Pokemon, do we bring in Groudon or Charizard? I think we bring in all triple starters. Yeah, yo, let's rock in with all triple starters on this battle here. That would be awesome if we can actually grab ourselves a win with this. Be a lot of fun but guys if you haven't checked out my sponsorship yet link is down in the description below into the am they are a men's clothing brand and they are phenomenal they sent me a bunch of items i got my hats they have a bunch of shirts and all that good stuff and you guys should definitely check them out especially for winter apparel i do have a 10 percent off code if you just use my code jeans at checkout or you can just use the link down in the description below and shop from there you'll automatically get 10 percent off using that code so if anybody bought product with it let me know in the comment section down below because i know a few you guys actually have and let me know what you guys think of their products down there as well but let's see what he goes into Let's see what this dude leads. Show me the Lando. He goes Venusaur into that. Okay. So maybe none of us brought a Drought Pokemon. <laughs> that would be so funny. Maybe none of us brought the Drought. So I might just Dynamax here and go into a Fly. I might swap into... Torkoal. Which could be an option. So do I just Yawn on this slot? If he swaps into Torkoal, we can put it to sleep. It's going to be my Fly. Let's see what this guy does. Let's see what this guy does. We are gonna, we are just going to grab some speed on this slot here. This song could be going for a fake out. We don't really know. We don't really know. He's probably wondering like who I'm Dynamaxing, especially with his dive ball. He's probably like, oh, that's Blastoise in the dive ball. But now, nah, yo, it's Thunderous, baby. Assault vest Thunderous. Who's gonna work wonders here? Considering he's a, uh, he has an assault vest up up against a lot of special attackers here. He has to bring in Zazzy. That's probably a must. Maybe he swaps into Torkoal. Let's see what his play is. Let's see what this guy's play is. He's going to Dynamax as well. He is. So he's definitely swapping into the Torkoal slot. Um, is he going to go for a Vine Lash into my Blastoids? So I can definitely see happening. He could be going into a Vine Lash into my Blastoids. We shall see. That might mean Blastoids is done. Blastoids might be done here. <laughs> could be the end of Blastoids. Or is he going to stick with Grimstone here? He's going to stick with Grimstone. And he is going to set up a Light Stream. So we are going to have speed, and we are going to be able to yawn up onto the, the Grimstone here. And this thing has a Cobra Barry. Get this thing out of my face. This thing's out of my face. The good thing Blastoise is going to be able to get off a turn before this one ends. And I'm thinking another Airstream should be able to KO that thing. Let's see. I might make the read of him going into a Vine Lash over onto my Blastoise slot. I mean, it might happen this turn. We'll see. He hasn't even gone yet. He hasn't even gone yet. So, Yawn popping out here. That thing is getting drowsy, and he is just going to drop a Vine Lash into Blastoids. So, bye-bye, Blastoids. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. Alright, so we're sitting here. Uh, hmm. What are we going to do with this? Well, how are we going to play this one? We have two other starters left, which is great. I could just go into Charizard. I could go into Charizard, and I could protect, or I could just drop a Heat Wave. I think Heat Wave is definitely going to be our call here. Or actually, I probably should have went into, uh, I probably should have went into, uh, Venus right here. But we're just going to Heat Wave here, just in case he wants to swap in. I don't really think he has a lot that can kill my, uh, my Charizard. So if he wants to swap in the Torkoal and try to take speed, that's fine. If not, he's going to have to take an Airstream here. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this all day. Run it. Run it up. 
Run it up. What you got, fool? What you got? Because we're going to start taking speed with all these airs. Which is just... Mwah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. My dang Blastoise so got dumped on turn one. We probably should have just made the read. But I do like having that yawn onto that Grimstone. It, it forces him to stay in and go to sleep or swap out here. And if he swaps out, I, th I think we're thriving here. His Venusaur doesn't really have anything to really kill any of these Pokemon out on the field. So he is going to end up guarding, which, again, that's cool. That's cool. And he's going to set up a Reflect, which is fine. We just have special attackers in the back end. So that's a little waste of a turn. And his Grimstone, more importantly, is going to go to sleep here. Unless we burn it with this Heat Wave. That would be, that would be awful. That would be awful if we actually burn this thing with the Heat Wave. <laughs> I'd actually be very upset. So do not burn, Charizard. Don't do that. Don't do it. We get a crit. No burn. Okay, that's wonderful. So no burn on him. Um, do we see him swapping? I think we potentially see him swapping. So do I? Might I might protect? I might protect here. But airstream, even after the fact, even after we get off this airstream, we will be able to outspeed. But his Venusaur will get one shot. But I don't see him rocking anything that's going to be able to take out my Charizard. So I think just going into a straight heat wave into an airstream is a safe play. I just think it's a safe play here. Let's see. And then after we get rid of Venusaur, we just have speed on deck. We'll make a move. Can you land double max guards? I think it's possible. Actually, it might not be possible. Max guard might not be able to double. I know Protect, you can double. Ripstar is going to be slumped. He doesn't swap, which means we're going to be able to pop out with this Airstream. And more importantly, this Venusaur is going to go down even if he eats this up because Charizard now outspeeds with that speed boost. And a heat wave is going to be able to fly through and a better connect or or gene's going to be upset or this monitor is going to be be broken heat wave comes out it connects get out of my face venusaur what you mean give me a burn yo what what you mean heat wave doesn't ko get out of my face get out of my face i don't like that one bit luckily my boy was able to eat but he does get a speed drop but it gives me the defiant which we absolutely love we love the defiant we love the defiant get out of my face face heat wave doesn't ko fine last gonna slowly chip away uh what do i do from here what do i do from here that's so whack. that's super whack i wonder if he has a drought pokemon and if he does we have venusaur in the back which is great his drought pokemon his only drought pokemon is going to be uh is going to be what's it called torkoal but he might not have brought torkoal Definitely brought Zacian. Um, let me break these screens off. Let me break these screens off and go into a heat wave here. Let me do that. Let me break these screens. Let me say, hey, yo, screens, get out of my face. I wonder if he's trying to go for a sucker punch, but he's slumped. That is whack. That is whack. Brick Break's gonna fly through here. Ugh. Give me them screens. Get them screens out of my face. We're not dealing with the Charizard outspeed. Charizard outspeed. And be able to eat up a Vine Lash. You're at 32 HP, so I think you should be able to. We outspeed. We take out the Venusaur finally. And now we are sitting here. We are plus one on speed move with uh, him. And hopefully, yo, we got to be able to eat up this Vine Lash with this Char. Come on, Char. Don't do 32. Don't do 32. Should not do 32. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. So he's got to have Zacian, right? I got it. Like, it's got to be Zacian, right? It's got to be Zacian. I think it's working. Zacian comes out here. A little tough. And is it Torque? Is it going to be Torque? It's going to be Lando. So, yo, Defiant is popping. Defiant is popping out here. If we can get off a shot on any of these guys, we're going to be thriving. We're going to be thriving. Now, what is the play here? What is the play here? That's the real question. Does he protect Zacian? We are plus one on speed. And I think that might be able to push us to outspeed that thing. Let me see. Let me see this thing speed. It's 168 with plus one. That's cutting it close. That's cutting it close. And the real question is, do we go after Zassian here? Who do we go after? A plus four. What's our best move? What's our best move? I really want to go into Wild Charge, but I think he protects Zassian, so I think Crunch just going over into him might be our play here. And then just Heat Wave and all around. I say we do that. Show me the Protect from Zassian. I'm so good. I'm so nasty at this game. I'm so nasty at this game. Get this fool out of here, yo. Get this fool out of my face. We crunching over on that slot, doing some big damage. Heat Wave's gonna be able to fly through here. Can Heat Wave take him out? I thought we were gonna be able to do more damage with that. Can Heat Wave take him out? It's not stab. Crunch wasn't stab, that's what I was talking about. And Rock Slide's gonna come in hot. And Thunder Seed up. 
man, dude, are we really gonna lose that? Are we really gonna lose this? I can't believe that thing was actually able to eat up that crunch. What were we, plus four on that? Come on, man. Come on, we gotta bring out the Venusaur here, and Venusaur has a fighting chance. Probably not, actually. But we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. So I think my best bet would be maybe just start put Pokemon to sleep. What's our call here? Hmm. Put Zaz because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, yo. I was expecting that to KO him. I was expecting that to at least KO him. That is so whack. I mean, I guess sleep's the play here. Even though I think both of his Pokemon outspeed me, but we're gonna have to put this ass in to sleep. Maybe he'll miss his attacks. Even with Blade Fly Surreal, that's connected. That's pretty much GG's. That's pretty much GG's, but that's so whack that we didn't KO that uh, Landorus there. We eat. Yo, Landorus, I need you to need you to miss. Oh, he goes into a fly. He goes into a fly. We need him to miss a fly. We do not have Protect. If I had Protect, it would have been sitting actually really nice. <laughs> If I had Protect, we just Protect this turn and let that thing sleep and then we kind of roll off from there. But we need him to miss now because we do not have any of this. I guess I'll just Weather Ball over on this thing. But hopefully this thing misses. Can it miss? Can it miss? For our hard read not picking up the KO, he's still slumped. Let's go, yo. Miss. Miss your fly. It connects, yo. That's GG, yo. I'm really upset with that one. We read the hard Protect on the Zassoon and then that plus four crunch alongside with a heat wave doesn't kill landers get out of my face time to grab ourselves a winning record here in battle number three going up against a drought groudon team that also features venusaur and charizard obviously and then he has the grimstone the porygon 2 for trick room which i do not think he's going to bring in and then he also has the urshfu in that final slot but yo i'm still a little upset on that last one like come on man you would definitely think a plus three crunch and a heat wave would kill a landers like Get out of my face. Even though, granted, we should have probably went for that Air Slash, knowing that that Zassium is going to protect. But I went into the Heat Wave just in case he didn't. But it is what it is. Let's grab ourselves this winner record. Who should I lead this one? I'm probably going to lead. He doesn't intimidate. I might not even bring this. I might bring all three starters here again. All three starters just looking nice. Looking real nice. We could go into Drought here. I could go in here just in case he wants to go Screens. And I could just start Brick Breaking. Start Brick Breaking left and right. And I could lead the uh, Venusaur, which could, could be good. Be good. Let's go Venusaur. Let's go. I said we just bring all three. I said we bring that same squad. I said he's going to do that sun. I think he's going to do the sun, right? We lead Blastoids. I don't want to lead Blastoids. I don't want to lead Blastoids, but I do see him potentially leading that. Uh, I have three seconds left. We are going to lead Blastoids. I could see him leading that. Maybe that uh, Venusaur. Be, which could be tough news, but in that case, we could just hard swap and kind of just roll after that. But I'm kind of hoping he's leading the Grim Style instead of Screens. I'm hoping that. Oh, yo, this song's a jam. This song's a jam. Yo, I love having random music on. Just randomly, like, a jam because I'm like, yeah, yo, I'm hype. Hype for this battle. Let's see what he's going to go into. Show me Grimstarl. Is it going to be Grimstarl? It's it oh, it is. Okay, cool. So cool. I was going to say, it is not. But that works all day. So I could just rock out with a Brick Break here. Turn one. I could go into... I am posing a big threat on him. I am posing a big threat on him. I could actually Dynamax go into my lightning move. But what do we say he's doing? I don't think he's staying in with that Charizard, right? Do we think he stays in with that Charizard? Hmm. I'm just going with an Airstream over on this slot. We set up an Iron Defense here. You know, let's go here. Going with the Airstream. I might more like a Max Knuckle. Start taking speed, and I am going to yawn over onto the charge on slot. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. He might hard swap. Yeah, there's a hard swap onto him. That's totally fine. And he's going to go into Groudon, maybe? He's going to go into Venusaur, which this is a nice, nice big old yawn coming into him. We have the Airstream going into the Grimstar slot. When I get out, we can take out screens. But I just think I just think Dynamax and this Thunderous is great. I think Thunderous is an all-around absolute beast on this team. He's really, like, he's really good. I really like him, especially with this moveset right here. I just like it all around. Here comes the Dynamax. He probably thinks we're going into like lightning, maybe a water move, something along those lines, but we're like, nah, son. We're going into some yawns. So he's going to set up the light screen. I think we are physical attacking right here with our uh, Thunderous. And get off some nice big old damage here. I want to go into a Knuckle, but I think Airstream is really beneficial for us, especially with speed in this match. I think we'll probably Knuckle next turn. I might just start Iron Defensing up here. Iron Defense could be the play. 
Jolan's gonna fly out here. I could protect. I could protect, but I think I am gonna iron defense. It could go into an airstream onto him. But I think we just I think we just knuckle here. Start boosting my attack and then just iron defensing here. So what's he gonna go into? Maybe a hard swap? The sleep powder? Mm, that is an option, but let's see it. Let's see what he's gonna do here. He's gonna go to sleep next turn. I can definitely see him swapping out again. Definitely see you swapping out again. Onto the Venusaur. He's he's in a pickle, yo. He's thinking. He's like, yo, what do I do? What do I do? So he's gonna stay in here. He's gonna set up a reflect. I'm cool with. I'm cool with that all day. We do have speed. This knuckle I'm probably not gonna be able to take him out, but I'm cool with that. I really want this attack boost here. I really want this attack boost. So we are going to take the attack boost. And then I'm just going to airstream over into that Venusaur slide after this. Here comes my lovely iron defense. Lovely iron defense. So let's start bulking up with him. Going into like a leaf storm here. That could be tough because that could be just be a waste of a turn. I'm gonna go for sleep powder. So he gets that sleep powder off. Okay. Alright. Okay. He goes to sleep. I go to sleep. That's fine. That's fine. At this point, we just go into an airstream. We try to hit up on you. And do I just body press? Or do I yawn in that slot? I think we just body press. Pretty much finish this, this Grimstone off here. We can go for a Thunder Wave. Yo, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Thunder Wave me. Yo, wake up. I need my boy to wake up. That would be hilarious if we got a one turn to Yo, were we unable to move? What you mean? That's whack. That is whack. Oh, okay, we were we were able to move. I was wondering. So, Body Press comes out here. Get him out of here. We slice and dice him up. He still has Dynamax. We are out of our Dynamax turns. Which is a little rough. Just a little rough. Just a tad bit. In this case, we can Brick Break if we can wake up. Which would be great. And who's going to go into? He's going to throw out his Charizard, and this is probably going to be his Dynamax. Probably going to be his Dynamax. 100% going to be his Dynamax. So he doesn't have Heat going on here. I think he th expected me to bring out the Heat. And in this case, uh, I think I'd rather get off the of I'll charge. If we wake up, we can fly and dodge a move. Be really nice, and I can yawn all over all the cars. Are could be plays, could be plays. He's gonna withdraw the Venusaur and go into probably the drought, right? Yo, dude, if my boy can wake up here, if my if my uh, my thunders can wake up here, that could be huge for us. That could be really big for us because he is gonna Dynamax here, and if we can dip out and dodge smooth oh my, and then yawn, mm, that could be real spicy. That could be a spicy turn, that could be a real spicy turn. So, yo. Thunders, wake on up here. Wake on up. I don't think he is, yo. I think I think he's gonna have a two-turn sleep. But this could be big if we can, he can have a one-turn sleep. Make it happen, Lando. Wake up. Yes, sir. Why do I keep calling him Lando? It's it's Thunders. Thundo. Thundo with the fly. Come on, yo. Show me that Charizard's going in that slot. Wildfire comes across. Yes, sir. Big old dodge here. Yawn is flying out onto the Charizard slot, baby. Run it all day. Solar power is gonna take away some damage. He m probably gonna be able to take out my uh. My thunder is here. But I am just going to protect my blast switch. Try to put these Pokemon to sleep, first and foremost. And then go from there. And then go from there. That's huge. That is a huge wake up. That is a huge wake up for the squad. And he does have drought set up. We still have the Venusaur in the back. And we have the Charizard as well. Two lovely little drought Pokemon. And his Venusaur is already asleep. His Venusaur is already asleep. So I could roll in with my Venusaur whenever he takes out my next Pokemon. Which I do think he takes out my thunders here. I do think he takes out my Thunders, and then I can just roll in the Venusaur and Leaf Swim in the Groudon and pretty much finish him off with that. But at that point, Charizard goes to sleep. Charizard is slumped. Attack comes out from the Toys of Blasters, which is wonderful. And a Fly is going to come across onto the Groudon. Get some nice damage off. We are plus one. So chipping away on that thing. And now he's going to go into a Wildfire, and that is going to take out my Thunders. Oh, he's going to go after Blasters. That's not going to be able to take me out. But we just slowly wasted out these turns. So now I can just go into a Brick Break. Now I can just go into a lovely little Brick Break. He goes for a Rock Slide. We protect. And I think we eat that up. Right, Thunders? Thunders, you can eat that up all day. All day, Thunders. Eat that up. Soak it up. Love you. Okay, so we can take off screens here, which is just a great turn. Which is just a great turn. Unless he protects the... Uh... I think we play it smart here. I think we take off screens by hitting up onto the Charizard slot. Just in case he protects the Groudon. And then we just body press into the uh 
into the ground on, as we are plus two on defense. But I have an odd feeling that we're going to be unable to move this turn. I don't know, I just have an odd feeling about that. The brick Break's going to fly here. He might protect, so I definitely just want to go and Brick Break on that slot. And then I'll just body press over into the ground on. Let's see, because we're really only using Brick Break just to take off the screen. Let's see, let's see. So far, we're playing this one pretty well here. Playing this one pretty well, dipping out some moves. Did he have a nice, uh, nice early sleep? He's gonna withdraw the dragon and pull back out the what is it, plant, plant turtle looking thing. Venus Rush can come back out here. We gonna hit this with a brick break. We hitting this thing with a brick break, dog. Taking out screens. We're gonna say screens. Get out of my face. Late screen wears off. Other one wears off. He goes for blades. Who's dodging? Doesn't affect thunders. And can you eat this up? You should be able to. You're plus two. Snack. That's a snack, baby. Body press flies out. And we haven't been paralyzed yet, which is great. Nice damage chipping away on the U. And is that KO me? I kind of wanted to. All right, cool. Now we bring out Char. Now we bring out the Charizard. Now we bring out the Charizard. Blastoise is out here. Take it. Take it. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. There's that. Uh, I think we just go into a heat wave here, right? Heat wave's definitely a play. Then we still have the Venusaur in the back end, and mm, Venusaur versus Charizard one on one. We don't know if we like that, but I think I have to bring out my Charizard here just to do the heat waves. He hasn't been asleep a turn yet. I don't think he's been asleep a turn. I could protect you. Might be my play. Where do I iron defense here? I'm gonna iron defense and say this heat wave does take out this Groudon. He's still slumped. Awesome. Charizard should go next. Heat wave comes out here. Potential double KO here. Should be lovely. Yes, sir. Big double KO. And we made the right call going into that iron defense because now we can still use our move, right? Now we can still set up. Now we can still set up here. And I'm paralyzed. What you mean? <laughs> the worst turn, man. The worst turn. But that's why he's going to slowly take some damage here. Get out my face. Left there was just going to soak up. Yeah, that's whack. When I make a nice call, then the paralyze comes out. But granted, we didn't get paralyzed this whole uh, game until then, which is fine. Which is totally fine. He's gonna bring out his Charizard here, who is asleep, yo. We dominated this final battle. That is how it's done. Triple starters ripping, yo. Boy, that's like really doing some work. I could go into the Ancient Power, which might be my play. I'm gonna go into Ancient Power here, and I am just going to uh, body press. Just trying to get off as much damage as we can. I think he just cancels battle here, right? He does. You have GG's winning record and amazing third and final battle with his triple starter rank number one team. We all know that Charizard is a Mason. We all know that Venusaur is a beast. We all know that Blastoids is OP. But when you put them all together on one team, it is just broken, yo. This team is phenomenal. We had a great set of battles for today's video. Going 2-1 and one and grabbing ourselves that winning record and showcasing all these Pokemon to their fullest potential. I definitely think a sleeper pick on this squad was definitely Thunderous. He was tons of fun to use and he's just phenomenal all around, especially with that Defiant ability, the Assault Vest as an item, and then this amazing moveset of Crunch, Wild Charge, Brick Break, which breaks screens, which we actually showcase, and Fly, which turns into Max Airstream, and you can dodge moves, which we also showcase in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.